that's going to be made. The first one is from the office of the borough president of Brooklyn, and it's a citation. It says, real quickly, I'm just going to do the first paragraph. It says, whereas Brooklyn is proud to be known as the Caribbean capital of America, and it is a time-honored tradition to recognize the outstanding contributions of individuals whose life and work reflect their heartfelt commitment to their community. It is fitting that we take note of the extraordinary accomplishments of outstanding individuals of Caribbean origin and descent. And it goes on to talk about these three brothers, Bunny, Tabby, and Judge, who have been together as a trio known as the Mighty Diamonds for 40 years. Tonight, we honor them with a citation from the Brooklyn Borough President's office. So that's the first presentation. How are you all doing out there? How are you doing? First of all, I'd like to give thanks to the Father. I would like to give thanks to the, the, the committee and the Congress. Right, for present reggae re re music over the years. See? So, we love the whole lot of bad. <laughs> and it doesn't end there. Because in addition to the Brooklyn Bar President's Office, the Coalition to Preserve Reggae Music, you know, in this event, we recognize the unique relationship between reggae, Rasta, Selassie, and Jamaica. And we believe the music of the Mighty Diamonds is a good reflection of that very unique relationship between reggae, Rasta, Selassie, and Jamaica. And for that reason, the Coalition to Preserve Reggae Music presents its very first award of excellence to the Mighty Diamonds. Brother Church. Brother Judge, Brother Bunny, and Brother Tabby. And it says, Coalition to Preserve Reggae Music, Award of Excellence, presented to, in this case, Fitzroy Bunny Simpson of the Mighty Diamonds, November 1st, 2009. You can dub in the name for the other ones. We are very proud to award the Mighty Diamonds with our very first Award of Excellence. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> you see, when we were in school, we were taught that the heights that great men reached and kept was not attained by sudden flight. But they, while their companions slept, were tiring upwards through the night. We have to give thanks, especially to our Jamaican people, because that's where it started. And without you, there could never be us. So we're really thankful for all the people who have supported reggae music over the years and helped us to do this work. Because if it was for really money, we would not be here. You know? Not even we don't know why, but we just do this work here. See me? So give thanks to everyone and respect. Now, you good? Y'all good with that? So they got the citation and they have the award of excellence. Turn it, turn it, which way? You want them to? This way? Okay, turn it that way. Turn it. Yeah. Now, the icing on the cake. I don't have to speak for her. She speaks so eloquently. She's someone I respect and someone I have grown to just become very, very proud of because of her journey. Congresswoman Yvette Clark, there aren't many words I can use to describe you, but just, you're a lovely, wonderful treasure to us. Brooklyn, put, Brooklyn, put your hands together for Congresswoman Yvette Clark. Now, I, I, I'm not gonna, Brother Carla wants to say something before the Congresswoman speaks, because this is a very special occasion for us here. We're very honored to have her in the house. Thanks for the opportunity and thank you very much, Congresswoman. Before you speak, I just wanted to say how elated I am that the government and people of the United States 
have chosen to recognize Rastafari. Okay, understand, as I said before, this is about that unique relationship between Reggae, Rasta, Selassie, and Jamaica. And you have made it possible by sending Yvette Clark to Congress. And she, in turn, is here tonight to recognize these, this group as well as to recognize Rastafari. Congresswoman. Yes. Pleasant good evening, everyone. How's everyone doing? Yeah. Wonderful. It's certainly my honor, my privilege to be here. And I just wanted to say one thing. You don't have to dread to be Rasta. Hello. It's certainly my honor again. I just wanted to take a moment and also just big up Sharon Gordon and Carlisle McKenney. These two individuals have been out there laboring in the vineyard, just making sure that our cultural heritage is preserved and that true culture reggae music is available to us here in Brooklyn. And they deserve a round of applause for their persistence and their perseverance. I am honored to be here this evening as we pay tribute to the wonderful legacy of one of Jamaica's most successful reggae groups ever, the Mighty Diamonds. As you all know, I was born here in Brooklyn, but my roots are firmly planted in my Jamaican heritage. In other words, I'm a Jamaican. Hello? You all know about that. Their melodic sounds have been embedded in Jamaican culture and their musical success has been celebrated worldwide. The Mighty Diamonds ranks high among the pioneers in the pantheon of reggae music. Their name is synonymous with Rastafari, Roots Reggae, and the trio has been entertaining and educating the world for years with their sweet harmonies, their lyrics, and their polished performances. Regardless of whether they're singing love songs or protest anthems, the Mighty Diamonds have been a startling emotional commitment to their best material and their debut album, Right Time still stands as one of Roots Reggae's all-time classics. <laughs> Donald Tabby Shaw, Fitzroy Bunny Simpson, and Lloyd Judge Ferguson formed in 1969 in the Trenchtown area of Kingston, Jamaica, and has been entertaining and educating the world with their sweet harmonies and conscious lyrics ever since. Someone from Trenchtown? It is an honor to present this dynamic group with a proclamation recognizing their career, which has spanned 40 years. Let us continue to pay tribute to the Mighty Diamonds, and here's to another 40 years. a spark in future generations of musicians and Jamaicans. I am deeply honored to join you today in recognizing the longevity, wonderful work the Mighty Diamonds have done to further the advancement of reggae music worldwide. And now it is my pleasure to present to them this proclamation. United States House of Representatives Proclamation by Congresswoman Yvette D. Clark. Whereas the Mighty Diamonds was formed in 1969 in Transtown, Kingston, Jamaica, also home to Bob Marley, with founder and harmony sing singer Pat Lloyd Ferguson, also known as Judge, Diamond, or the Judge, lead singer, 
Donald Shore, also known as Tappy Diamond, or The Prophet, and the harmony singer, Fitzroy Simpson, also known as Bunny Diamond, or The Jester. And whereas the Mighty Diamonds recorded with several producers, including Stranger Cole, Rupi Edwards in the 1970s, and later released their first hit, Shame and Pride, which they recorded at Byron Lee's Dynamic Sound Studio. And whereas the Mighty Diamonds worked with Jojo, Ho Kim's Channel One imprint in 1975 and recorded three more hits titled Country Living, Hey Girl, and Right Time before signing on to a major label deal with Virgin and released their first album entitled Right Time in 1976 which led to more hits including I Need a Roof, Have Mercy, and Africa. Whereas, on behalf of the United States House of Representatives, I salute the Mighty Diamonds for their service and dedication to our community and highlight that their positive and legendary contributions are what make our nation great. And I bestow upon you the highest honor as a member of the 111th session of Congress. I now therefore, Yvette D. Clark, member of Congress, representing the 111th Congressional District of New York, do now acknowledge the mighty diamonds with great honor.